Welcome everybody, good afternoon. Um, please um, help me welcome our ESL graduates. Just Layla. I think I'm going to take this out. Um, so welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Um, I think most of you probably know who I am, but my name is Livia Nuber, and I um, coordinate the ESL program here at BCC. And I would like to thank all of you for being here um, to support our graduates and to celebrate such an important accomplish accomplishment in their lives. Um, I would like to especially thank Anthony Uchi, uh, Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs for being here, Sarah Morrow, um, also thank you very much, Dean of Division 6, um, Access and Transition. Um, I also have the pleasure to welcome um, Anna Gayat um, to our ceremony and um, Dean Joanne Preston, thank you very much for being here this afternoon. Um, and also thank you to all of the instructors, um, all of our tutors, all of the friends and family members to our, our graduate students for being here this afternoon. I couldn't um, forget to thank the people who helped us organize the ceremony this afternoon. Um, please uh, give a round of applause to Zlela Rodriguez. She's a former ESL student in our program, and uh, she played for us. Um, also, Meredith Brady, she um, has helped us all along the process. Pedro Postale, the video that you're going to see in a few minutes, um, he helped me put together, because he is our ESL IT expert. <laughs> um, also, facilities, uh, food services, uh, media services, um, everybody who's helped us put this together. Thank you very much and welcome. So without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, the Vice President of Academic Affairs, Anthony Ucci. I'll just adjust this. Uh, thank you very much, Olivia. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, you're gonna hear this a lot. You're gonna hear congratulations a lot in the next few days, and you really deserve a, a great deal of congratulations. The, the fact is, you took on what I think is a, a, a very scary uh, and very challenging uh, uh, pursuit, and, and that is learning a, a second language, and, and learning to the point where you could then uh, continue on with your studies. Um, I, I tend to tell a little story about myself whenever I do a speech like this, and um, I actually tried to take on a second language when I was younger. I actually did uh, Spanish as a second language. And I have to say, um, it was one of the hardest things uh, I ever did. And I, I certainly haven't mastered it to the level that all of you have uh, in terms of English. And it's my understanding, and, and Livia, correct me if I'm wrong, um, English is actually a, a lot more difficult language because there's so many exceptions and changes and things like that. So. Not, not an easy language, so, so congratulations to all of you. You are the ones that definitely deserve a round of applause. So thank you. Um, 
And one of the things I, I think is important to, to mention here is um, whether you all realize or not, you're, you are part of our division of access and transition. And what that whole group is designed to do is designed to provide further opportunities. Um, you've probably all heard BCC's motto a few times that our, our job is to change the world, learner by learner. Well, well, you are the people we're talking about. You know, and what we're hoping to do through our ESL pro, uh, uh, program is to uh, provide greater access and allow you to transition. And you know, I sincerely hope that you take what you've learned in your ESL program and continue on here at BCC and work towards a certificate or a associate's degree or, or any any area you really would like to do. Because um, no matter who I spoke to, who I speak to. I always talk about the value of continuing education. In fact, as I was talking to a bunch of faculty members yesterday, new faculty here at the college, and I urge them to continue to, to learn, continue to study, continue to um, work on their profession. And I urge that to all of you. The fact is that lifelong learning, the ongoing pursuit of education, has become more and more important throughout uh, you know, my lifetime, and I'm sure it's going to continue to, to uh, be important. So I urge you to, to take what you've learned, be very, very pleased with an, an incredible accomplishment, because it really is, and then uh, continue on, whether it's here at BCC and somewhere else, but throughout your life, constantly learning, constantly in, in, be exploring. And since you've been so able to accomplish this task, you've overcome this challenge, um, I uh, sincerely hope you have the confidence to continue to take on new challenges because you really do have the skills and uh, it's important for, for you to uh, come to BCC and, and bring those and bring it to the, our community. So thank you very much and uh, enjoy your day. Sure. Um, I'd also like to announce uh, Dean of uh, Division Six, Access and Transition, uh, Sarah Morell. Thank you. I've seen many of you in the halls at, at uh, B Building over the past couple years, and it's great to see you all here again. Um, it's a really special day, of course, for all of the ESL students and the family members who are here as well, whose support, of course, makes this all possible. And let's not forget your faculty, who are so dedicated and have taught you in many exciting ways and shared their wisdom and their knowledge and their experience with you. And we must say thank you to Livia Newbert, the program coordinator, for all of her good work in creating and sustaining academic support systems that help you persist and make progress throughout the year. I know you're probably all a little bit stressed out right now. A little bit as you start this new exciting chapter in your lives. Some people say it's scary to leave the comfort of college and go out into the cold, hard world, or even to go on to other degree programs. Do you feel a little bit of that? Yeah. Yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> but as you so well know, this is America, the greatest country on earth with the greatest opportunities, and it's really true. I really believe that, and I know you do. And this transition will be a piece of cake for you. It's um, you're prepared for the future with tremendous education that you've begun here at BCC with your wonderful faculty and program staff. And this is going to be an exciting adventure. And you are ready. Any journey is not without its drawbacks, its setbacks and failures and disappointments, because that's just the way that life is. But you're ready and you're capable, and you would not be here with your certificate and your honors if you were not. So to help you along the way, I thought one gift that we could give you today are some, just a few famous ideas about how to be successful. And perhaps some teachers might not like these very much. <laughs> However, they might help guide you on your way. These six rules of success. Before I start, I just want to say they're one person's idea and not everybody's. Everybody's different. Some people like to take things a little more slowly or be more laid back and others want to be very intense. And so you will choose for yourselves how to apply these. This intensity, by the way, has always worked for your faculty. And this commitment has always worked for your program staff. But you can decide. So here are the rules. The first rule is trust yourself. 
And what I mean is, so many people get so much advice from people, parents, and teachers, and everyone else. But what's the most important thing is that you have to dig down deep and figure out not just what you want to be, but who you want to be. And not what your parents or teachers want you to be, but you yourself. Figuring out what makes you happy, no matter how crazy that may seem to anybody else. And rule number one, if you want to become a champion in your own life, you have to go on that mission to figure out what you want to be, who you want to be, and to trust yourself, no matter what anyone else thinks. Rule number two is to break the rules. Not the law, but break the rules a little bit. It's impossible to be an original or a maverick if you're too well behaved and if you don't want to break those rules. You've got to think out of the box a little bit and try to imagine a different way. I know, she's laughing. <laughs> Rule number three, don't be afraid to fail. How many of you have failed a little bit along the way already? Good for you. At least a quiz. Right? <laughs> you have to do it. You can't always win, but you can't be afraid of making decisions and making choices, and they don't always work out. But you've got to make that attempt. You can't be paralyzed by fear of failure, or you'll never push yourself. Keep pushing yourself because you believe in yourself and in your vision and because you know it's the right thing to do and success will eventually come. Rule number four, don't listen to the naysayers. How many times have you heard that you can't do this or that you can't do that? Many, many times. <laughs> and how many times have you heard it's never been done that way before? You just imagine if Bill Gates had quit when he heard that and everybody said that to him. So don't take no for an answer. Don't listen to I can't or you can't. Imagine Livia's voice in your head saying, yes, you can do it. Okay. And rule number five, which is the most important rule, and excuse my language, you need to work your butt off. You never want to fail because you didn't try hard enough or you didn't work hard enough. You've got to, now Muhammad Ali, who you may not even know, how many of you know who Muhammad Ali is? Very good. You know he was a famous athlete. He was asked once, how many sit-ups has he done? And he says, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's how hard he worked. And that is how hard you have to work too. If you want to win, there's absolutely no way around very, very hard, hard work. And none of these will, uh, all, none of these rules of success will work unless you do work that hard. And you know that or you wouldn't be sitting here right now. Finally, rule number six, very important, is about giving back whatever path you take. You have to always find a way to give something back to your community, your country, and your college. You need to reach out and help people, and that will bring you more satisfaction than anything else you've done. It certainly has for me. So as you prepare to go off into the world, remember to trust yourself, break some rules, don't be afraid to fail, ignore the naysayers, work like crazy, and give something back. Hundreds of students have come before you in the ESL program here and have sat exactly where you are today. Good times and bad times, in war and peace, in times of great promise and times that have been very, very uncertain. So through it all, they have persevered. It is one of the great qualities of ESL students, of immigrants, of international students. That persistence, that refusal to give up, and that fight that fighting spirit to overcome great odds. And so as you graduate, don't lose that optimism and don't lose that fighting spirit and congratulations. Thank you, Sarah and Anthony. We're gonna take a quick, quick break here because um, we have put something together, your instructors and your uh, tutors have a little something something to say to you, a little message of encouragement. Um, so 
I would like to play that for you right now if I can find it. <laughs> it was here. No, it's right here. Mm -hmm. Hold on. It was here. I just don't know what happened to it. Let me turn the volume up. <laughs> I think it is. Good afternoon, graduates. I am so proud of each one of you that spent such a wonderful experience having you in the classes, especially uh, advanced conversation. I recognize several names who were there last spring. And it, I'm just so proud of you, and you are so ready to go to the next step and be in the regular university classes. Have a great life. Hi, I'm Cindy, I'm the ESL tutor. I'm very proud of all of you who have completed the course this year and uh, will go on to many, many good things in the future. We're uh, hoping for the best for you. Lots of luck. Hi, I'm Meredith Brady, the um, new tutor in the ESL tutoring lab, and it's been a wonderful year working with each one of you students, and I'm um, just so happy that you are embarking on this wonderful journey of learning English. English, uh, as you know, opens up um, doors so that you can fulfill your dreams, and it's been a pleasure working with you all. It's been a good year because we have seen your improvement where you started and now we see you speaking English well, having confidence in yourself and being able to go on and uh, fulfill the dreams that you have for using English. It's been wonderful getting to know each one of you. Some of you have come frequently to the lab and we have gotten to know what you are goals are in your lives, what struggles you have overcome, and each one of you has overcome many obstacles to be here at this graduation and you should be proud of yourself and you should know that this is just the beginning of learning English. Uh, it's always a journey in our lives and we just I just wish each one of you the best as you begin this journey with your newfound skill in English that it'll bring you to the places where you want to be so that you can fulfill all your dreams and goals in your lives and that you'll be find satisfaction and well-being. And again, it's a pleasure working with you all and we hope that you will come back often and visit and we wish you well in all you do. Thank you. Congratulations ESL students. I am so proud of all of you and all that you have accomplished. I always admire all of my ESL students for how hard you work and how many obstacles you overcome to get where you are today. You should be very proud of yourselves. Good luck. Hello, uh, my name is Ron Katavian. I'm an ESL tutor and I just want to say congratulations to all the students who are graduating in ESL today. You know, you've worked really hard and you really deserve this. So. Um, enjoy your day and uh, have a great future. Take care. Congratulations to all of you ESL graduates. You've done a wonderful job and I know your future will be bright. I especially want to say congratulations to my students from my English uh, ESL 124. They work very hard, you all work very hard and I'm very proud of you. ESL students, you should be so proud of yourselves. You've accomplished so much here at BCC in our ESL program. I know I'm proud of you, and it's been a pleasure working with you through the intermediate and advanced classes. You've brought so much to the classroom, and I'm sure you will bring so much to all of your classes as you move forward. So I wish you lots and lots of luck. Congratulations. Graduates, I'm so excited for you. This is another big moment in your life. So congratulations. I want to make sure that you enjoy, continue to enjoy learning, love learning, because it will help you understand the world uh, much better than you can understand that. 
So continue your education. Oh. Hello, congratulations to all the 2014 ESL students. Um, I'm so happy for you. I wish you all the best and I enjoy having you in my classes. Hi ESL students. I want to congratulate you. We're so proud of you. Good luck in the future at Bristol Community College or wherever you may be. And please stop and see us. We want to hear all the good news about how you are successful at the next level. Congratulations. So Diane, if you would uh, please step down to the podium to say a few words to our students. I have my index card. <laughs> I was thinking when Livia asked me to say a few words, I was wondering if I should give my advanced conversation students papers so they could grade me, <laughs> right? So um, anyways, I'm very happy to be here to share this time with you. And I wanted to start by saying that I always tell my students, if I win the lottery and become a millionaire, I'm going to quit my job, right? No offense, BCC. <laughs> and travel around the world because, I want to hold this too, because ever since I was a child, I've wanted to travel, to go to new places, meet new people, experience new cultures. To me, this was very exciting. But I'm not a millionaire. So instead, I became an ESL teacher, right? <laughs> Similar. Because now my students bring the world to me. And I want to thank you for all of the things you have taught me. Okay. I have learned so much about your countries, your cultures. I've learned so much about your values, different ways of thinking, different ways of doing things, different kinds of food, of course. What you hold dear in your hearts. Okay. So I want to thank you for teaching me so much. All Bristol Community College students work very hard. Students may be here full-time, they may be here part-time. They may have a family. They may work full-time or part-time. They may have children, they may have parents that they have to help. Or maybe they live alone, which is another challenge, right? But only the ESL students are the students who do all of this in a second language, or maybe a third language, or a fourth, or a fifth for some of you, okay? This takes a lot of hard work, and you work very, very, very hard. And I want everybody to realize, I mean, a lot of us have said that, how really hard you work. Why? Why do you work so hard? You work so hard because you know that learning English is the beginning of a better life for you, opening the door to new opportunities, okay? Continuing on your education or getting a better job. And you don't just do it for yourselves. You do it for your families as well. So families who are here and friends, these people are working hard not just for themselves, they're working hard for you. Whether your family is here in the United States with you, or maybe your family is back in your country, or maybe your family is in the future. You don't have a family yet, but you will, okay? So we want to tell you that we respect you. We admire you, okay? And we want to congratulate you because we are very, very proud of you. So congratulations, and how was my eye contact? Did I do okay? <laughs> Those are going to make me cry. <laughs> Diane, thank you very much. Um, and last but not least, I would like to invite um, a student representative, uh, Monica Valdivia, to say a few words to us.
friends, professors, teachers, and tutors, and parents, welcome. We are graduating today. Can you believe it? Most of us walk into these, into these halls as nervous as we were the first day of school. Now we are ready to enter in a new stage of our education. It was begin long semester of, e, of different ESL classes. Long because of the old drama and bad homework, the boring readings and late nights with homework. Short because of the friendships, memories, and the interesting things between different classes and teachers. I want to thank all the teachers for being here, helping us, and for never give up on us. Because of them, we are here, ready to graduate. Good and bad, long or short, I will always remember this place and continue my learning career. It takes decision, it takes dedication to be able to come through and make the best of all the classes. It takes a passion to learning ever if we got lazy sometimes. Today, we are here because we never gave up. This is the start of a new beginning. Congratulations, ESL Classes 2014. We did it. Yes, indeed, you did it. Um, well, I, after all of these beautiful speeches, I don't um, know what else to say other than congratulations. Um, you know, I'm very proud of all of you. I've grown to know you, um, some of you personally. You've been to my office, um, you know, and you've shared your lives with me and you know where to find me, so I will be there. If you need me, um, from now on, um, just give me a call or stop by and I'll always make time for you. Congratulations, and like everybody else said, this is just the beginning. I'm sure you're all gonna be very successful in your lives. So a big round of applause to all of you. gift from us to you, um, I would like to invite uh, Michaela Huss um, to sing a celebratory song um, to us. Um. Back to the street where we began, feeling as good as lovers can, you know. Yeah, we're feeling so good. Picking up things we shouldn't read It looks like the end of history as we know It's just the end of the world Back to the street where we began Feeling as good as love you could you can Into a place where thoughts can bloom Into a room where it's night in the afternoon And we know that it could be and we know that it should And we know that you feel it too Cause it's night in the afternoon Your eyes are the size of the moon You cook as you can so you do We're feeling so good just the way that we do When it's night in the afternoon Your eyes are the size of the moon You cook as you can so you do We're feeling so good the street, down to our feet, losing the feeling of feeling unique. Do you know what I mean? Back to the place where we used to say, man it feels good to feel this way. Now I know what I mean. Back to the street, back to the place, back to the room where it all began. Back to the room where it all Cause it's night in the afternoon Your eyes are the size of the moon You cook as you can so you do We're feeling so good just the way that we do When it's night in the afternoon Your eyes are the size of the moon You cook as you can so you do We're feeling so good 
it's okay to so you do You're feeling so good just the way that you do When it's night in the afternoon Your eyes are the size of the moon You could cause you can so you do we're feeling so good, just the way that we do When it's night in the afternoon Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Michaela. All right, so now to the certificates. I would like to invite, um, I wonder if this is on. Hello? Hello? You can hear me, right? I would like to invite Jackie and Diane um, and Didi. Quick, and uh, and Marie Donnelly to come down here, please. So as is this off? It look, sounds like it's off, right? Oh, I think the battery's down. It's on. It's on. It's okay. You I just want to be louder than this say, allows you me. Speak loudly. They can hear you. So um, as we call your names, um, we ask that you please step down here to receive your certificate. Um, <laughs> These are in order. These are, these are in alphabetical order. Okay. I'm making for Oh, you want to? It's too late now. All right. So, the first student we would like to invite down is Arabelli Armentano. Congratulations, Arabelli. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you. Carline Voltaire. Erika Cruz. Am I supposed to have that one? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I got it right now. You were just teasing me with the alphabetical one. <laughs> there are not enough. There is one in here. For you. There is one. There. You can't. Oh, maybe. I, maybe there isn't one for Eric. No. <laughs> There is one for you. I did it this morning myself. There you go. Yay. You have to wait for the picture. You have to wait for the picture. Edison Pereira. One for you too, Edison. No you have to wait for good things. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. That's okay. <coughs> That's why I mean this is fun. fun. <laughs> That's, <laughs> why I That's right. There you go. All right. All right. Um, Elvia Alvarez. Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> they all wanted to look pretty today. They do, indeed. There you go. <laughs> Fatima Javed. Just one second. 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 Just one second.
Um, Rosa just asked me to say a few words. Oh. This wasn't on the script, but of course she can. So. Oh, I'm going to faint. Like always, I'm <laughs> shaking and sweating and nervous. But uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank God for this. And thank you to the you and you, all the teachers being there supporting me, asking me qu as, uh, asking questions for me, um, you know. And uh, uh, thank you, Lydia, and to my classmate. <laughs> thank you very much, and congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can I say something that's not on the script? Yes. I'm yes, sorry. you may. <laughs> Because Rosie, as people in the conversation class know, never wants to speak in front of anybody. And never, she would shake every time. And I'm just so proud of you, Rosie. Yeah, thank you. Viola, yes. Congratulations. Fatima Javed, it's your time. Congratulations. Jolanta Pesiocas. <laughs> and I hope I'm pronouncing these names correctly. If I'm not, they won't get mad at me. <laughs> Next we have Kenya Almeida. Come on. Kerwin couldn't be here, so next we have Lester Juarez. Lester, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. I know, doesn't he? Luis Alcante couldn't be here, so next we have Monica Valdivia. Next we have Muna Ferdowsi. Nairomi couldn't be here. Next we have Nieves San Pablo. couldn't be here. Is Pericles here? He couldn't be here either. Um, is Sarah Zachary? She is. So yeah. Sarah, please right. join us. She is. She is. She is. She is. Satsuki Shimizu couldn't be here. So, Sylvia is not here either, Sylvia dos Santos. Next we have Solange Dongo. Why couldn't be here? So last but not least, we have Zen Yu Yang.
right, so um, that concludes the, the ceremony. Thank you again for being here. Congratulations to all of you guys. Outside, so please join us. Thank you.